when somebody greets Happy New Year on New Year's Day, I do not believe in a Happy New Year each year because each year gets worse. The norm of human society gets stronger. People in authority honor the stupid people for their stupid actions like littering, like actions of prank phone calls, and like actions of discrimination. Dictatorship is honored. New stupid hopeless laws are added. Severe parental ratings like R slash TVMA slash M all to works of entertainment are declared as absolute truth. Crime dramas, fictional or real, are increasing. More pro intellectual property barriers are added and greed by pro intellectual property actions is honored. More cameras slash microphones are added at public places to invade your privacy to raid. More hopeless codes of every type get added. Licensing agreements get updated negatively. Bullying by human government gets stronger. I believe in the prophecy according to the Bible that the days are going to get more evil. I believe in a happy eternity. I want to go to heaven that is in eternity when I pass away or when I am caught in the rapture. This seen material world will pass away according to 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 18. 2 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 2 says, now is the day of salvation. Years contain time, but there is no time in eternity. How can you get to heaven? How can you be saved? Romans chapter 10 verses 9 to 10 tells us, if you confess with your mouth to the Lord Jesus and if you believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart the man believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Please pray the following prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I have come to you as a sinner. I know that I broke one of your commands. And I know that I am 
guilty. I ask for your forgiveness. For the entire negative deeds that I did. I invite Christ Jesus into my life. As my Lord and as my Savior. Please help me with all the areas in my life. I know that I am going to heaven. Because of you. I thank you for the free gift of salvation. And I thank you for accepting me. In Jesus' name. Amen. What happens next? The Holy Spirit comes into you and he permanently seals you as a child of God. Romans chapter 8 verses 16 to 17 states the spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. If we are children, we are heirs. We are heirs of God. And we are joint heirs with Christ. If so, we suffer with him. So we may be also glorified together. 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verses 21 to 22 states now he established us in Christ and he has anointed us and he also sealed us and he gives us the Spirit in our hearts as a guarantee. I want to say Happy Eternity.